Hey, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. It's Kihi. So when we left off, uh, we were shaking down this. I think it was this fellow. Was it you? Nah, you don't seem depressed enough. There was a depressed fellow we were shaking down for money, and he was just talking about how tragic his life was because, oh no, I don't have any money, and I spend it all on alcohol while my family starves. It's like you're not the victim here, man. Come on. So I didn't feel so bad about shaking him down. Uh, but anyway, let's go return to our German friend and see what he has to say. I don't know if Germany well, exists in this universe. Well. It seems like it probably would because, you know, it's, I think, I mean, there's always just still Earth and all, like, the Earth locations and stuff like that. So probably, probably he's just a real German guy that has never seen or lived in Germany. But somehow he has an a, a German accent. Explain that. Ooh, Okay. Come on, Barrett, let's go. Gotta go save the freaking universe. It's always our freaking problem. Typical. Okay. Okay, here we go. Squaz. Hello, my not very reputable friend. Have something for me? Well, the way you're saying that makes me want to say no, but yeah. Wait, did that guy actually pay me or am I just freaking paying? I think he paid me. Bear, I'm gonna be really bear. mad if I paid that with my own money. Out on me. Yeah, freaking bum. No, he will not be a problem anymore. He got the message. I thought getting the money would be enough. You got the message, dude. Relax. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on dead people. Yeah. To you. I like that. I don't know what you mean by leaning on him. I didn't even touch him. I just implied that I would touch him. Get you more. A lot more. Yeah, dude. I love being a dirty bag. Give me more. Handle running with my uh, associates. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. Uh if you think they can handle me. Yeah, I'm interested. I don't know, maybe. Who exactly are your associates? Yeah, who exactly? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our life. I'm cut out for whatever I want to be cut out for, man. Okay. Um, yeah, if you think they can handle me, stupid. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. I like your style. Yeah, you didn't like two seconds ago, but now you do. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Naval Mora. Yeah, could you just like text him? Text Naval Orange. Let her know. You'll find her there. Is that the girl that said she was gonna make you into a unicorn? Because that's a little embarrassing. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't Sweet. Spend all that cash in front of okay, I won't. Thank you. Don't spend all your cash on Venus schnitzels, okay? <gasps> I leveled up. Yes, Barrett, we did it. Yeah, I do, actually. Are you you want to talk about how we leveled up? No guarantees. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm really enjoying our time. Me too. Thought you should know. Uh-huh. I do know. Long time since I, worked with I can feel the energy between us. Whoa. I didn't realize how much I missed it. And you haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Urban either. No. I mean, even though it's a weird obsession, he's almost definitely dead. But, yeah. If it matters to you, it matters to me. I probably shouldn't have encouraged you, you lunatic. Don't worry. I wasn't doing anything important anyway. You don't freaking matter, F you. Uh, I'm here for you, whatever you need. Why would I stop you? Actually, why would I stop you? Well, there's a school of thought that you shouldn't go chasing ghosts. So you've accepted that he's a ghost. You're probably right. Ghosts are spooky. Hey, <laughs> spooky. This isn't that kind of chase. And Irvin's case is far from dead. Yeah, your dog matters, dude. You gotta know for sure. I know dogs don't live that long, but, like, honestly, you just gotta know. Um, hey, man, if it matters to you, it matters to me. See, that's what makes you a good captain. In my yeah, I'm a captain. You're supportive. Of course. On that note, I do have some news about her. Do ya? So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact, and I think you'll want to hear Oh, this. boy, do I ever. Me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. Oh, yeah? A claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. Oh, I mean, dogs tend to chew on stuff, so you can't really blame him for that. He's just in his nature. <laughs> no plea makes him guilty. I don't understand how Irvin could be guilty of that. I don't know Irving, so he could be guilty of anything for as much as I know. Who brought this case to court? What was the settlement? Uh, I don't know what I'm even talking about, so this seems like it'll uh, advance the conversation. Let's go this way. He wasn't even on the planet for the duration of the trial. They blasted him into space? Why would you do that to a dog? Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irving, 
claiming he erected. Okay, that's just foolish. Why would you sue a dog? They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine. Yeah. Which led to he is a very capable dog. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast. Oh. Which caused her face this a ton of money. Well, they really. That was a stretch. Because the earth started farting, they sued your dog. That doesn't seem plausible. That seems really hard to prove. Uh, it looks like they considered him a no-show and ruled against him. Well, yeah, they blasted him into space. How was he supposed to get back? Court documents, there was a witness for the defense who was a no-show too. Then Hephaestus won by... Well, that's not really fair. Did they rock, paper, scissors at least? I guess your dog couldn't really do that. He doesn't have any fingers. That sounds like the case closed. Hey, free apartment. You know about the apartment before this? Uh, witness didn't show up. Is your contact still available for work? Free apartment. I had a mountain of back taxes to pay. And you tell I thought that would make him mad. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> I can't help myself. It would have been far better for my pockets had I just donated it to the city. But I'm glad I didn't. There may be clues there about his case. Yeah. So here's what I was thinking. What are you thinking, Barrett? I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, pay your smuggler contact to investigate both, baby. Investigate the company some more. Investigate the witness instead. I mean... What do you want to find out with the witness, honestly, or either of them, really? The real reason was for retracting his testimony. Did he report anything to security? Mm-hmm. What about this one, though? I just want to know why they picked Irvin. Why did they set him up? Well, he's a dog. He can't even testify. That's easy. I'd say witness. I'm not paying you my money. We're gonna have to be a lot better friends than that. I mean, I really like you, Barrett, but honestly, four thousand is so much money, and I don't, I don't have any reason. To be saving it. I'm not spending it on anything. But, like, honestly, I just don't want to... I don't want to pay that. Like, you're not even going to try? Not even give me, like, a freaking dollar to, like, perpetuate this? Yeah. Well, don't give me that nasty little look. It makes total sense. We could at least go have these, like, 2,000, 2,000. I could do that. But, like, 4,000? Just me? Come on. We're just going to stick with the witness. Might as well, right? Yeah. I suspect they threatened him, and that's why he didn't. <laughs> you can barely threaten a dog. They don't know what you're talking about. You know... This investigation is time-consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean a better future for Gagarin. Gagarin. He's thinking too far ahead. Anyway, Captain, thanks for checking in. No problem, buddy. You're my friend. I'm gonna save so I never have to do that again. Holy crap. I mean, uh, great talk, Barrett. Really, really enjoyed connecting with you. Okay, uh, where are we off to? Did I... Just stay away, huh? No, no, I can. I can. I just want to see if there's anything else you had that I might also like to own. That's stealing. <sighs> You're a nasty little fellow. But I like your accent. Okay. Um... Mars is wrapped with resources, which means... Why do you have a redneck accent? Um, I really, really want to do that quest where they... Uh, you're like, uh... What is the word I'm looking for? You're like a bounty hunter kind of thing. And I don't know if that's a a quest I have now. I thought I picked it up before. Um, Cause I never got to experience it. Okay. I guess we'll just stick with this quest for now because I literally don't know. Mergent told me there was a lot of, a lot of spacer activity. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna require me to fly my ship accurately and that's not gonna happen either mantis is out of the question i got my butt absolutely destroyed um i'm uh, trackers alliance okay mysterious tracker told me agent number one of the lines and kila city wants to speak to me probably shouldn't keep them waiting but i will <sighs> yeah we're already doing this it's okay we'll do this lieutenant julian toft find proof or this one after doing a job for adler kemp he's decided to refer me to one of his superiors i need to go to europa where i'll meet neva mora okay off to Deva. Let's go to Naval Orange. We'll go talk to her. Excuse me. Kind of in the way. But I'm sure you get that a lot. Uh, Barrett, you coming? Alright, cool. Wait, is that Barrett? Eh, you're fine. I guess I'll, I'll let you replace Barrett. That's fine. I'm just kidding, Barrett. Oh, he really is going to replace Barrett. Oh, here he is. 
Okay. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna pause it here, and we'll pick up in the next episode where we uh, meet Naval Orange and see how that goes. Cause we're, I guess, pirates now. So, woo! Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to maybe give me a little like, a subscribe. I don't know if you're enjoying it. Hope you guys are having fun and relaxed and unwinding after you know a long, stressful day or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.